Welcome to MTB Radley! By the end of this video, I'll show you better ways to wear your bike helmet so it doesn't look like this. But seriously, it's really important that you're properly wearing your mountain bike helmet. Serious injury could arise if you're not using it properly. I want you to come back and ride another day even after you crash. So please wear that helmet. For the best mountain bike tips, reviews, and trail rides, subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell, so you get notified every Thursday when I post a new video. Mountain bikes are rad! You should get one! As an outdoor professional, I've helped thousands of people to recreate outside, and mountain biking has just been one of those activities. Now it's time for me to help you. Every rider should wear a helmet. Everyone who's crashed and broken a helmet knows the importance of wearing a bike helmet. Speaking from personal experience, I've broken my helmet in a crash over the handlebars. Landed right on my head, my head and my neck hurt for months. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries. I continue to wear my bike helmet today. Most mountain bike helmets today have some sort of ratcheting system back here to control the tightness of the helmet around the head. Put your helmet on, pull the straps down, rotate that ratchet system in the back, tighten it. You should be able to move your head back and forth and it should stay on your head. You don't want your helmet so loose that it slides around really easy on your head. Adjust the knob until the strap fits snugly around your head. You don't want it too far down that it's blocking your view so you can't see. Likewise, you don't want it too far back to expose the forehead so there's no protection. Bring it down so that you can see the visor or the helmet if you don't have a visor. Your ear should be centered between the Y straps on both sides. If they're not, often there's some kind of adjustment that allows you to lengthen or shorten one of the straps so that you can get your ears centered between the Y straps. Keeping the ears centered in the Y straps helps maintain a proper fit for the mountain bike helmet. Once you strap the chin strap in place, there should be enough room to get two fingers in there, but not too much room. A good test is to open your mouth wide you should feel the pressure of the helmet pushing down on the head and you should feel the pressure of the strap pushing up against the bottom of the chin. If you don't feel either of these pressures, then the strap is too loose, you need to tighten it up a bit. On the flip side, you don't want the strap so tight that when you open your mouth, that you feel pain in your head or your chin. That's too tight, so you need to loosen it up a little bit. You've got to find that happy medium in there to where when you, you open your mouth, you feel pressure of the helmet on top of the head as well as pressure of the chin strap against the chin and that is where you want um, your strap to be. On cold days, sometimes I'm wearing a beanie under my helmet. Now I don't wear a super thick beanie because then the helmet doesn't fit. Uh, it's super tight and that's pretty uncomfortable. But I have a nice thin one that helps retain heat when I'm riding. So when I first put it on, it might be too tight. So just make that adjustment in the back here. Slide it on. over your head, over the beanie, again, snug up using the ratcheting system in the back, and then come down here and strap it in place. Do the open mouth test again. If all goes well, we've got a good fit. Why do we want our mountain bike helmets to fit well? I can think of two reasons off the top of my head. One is for safety, two is for comfort. An improperly worn helmet will not perform as it's designed to perform. Secondly, we often wear our helmets for hours at a time, so we want them to be comfortable. When mountain biking, I strongly recommend that you wear a bicycle helmet. It's up to you to decide which helmet to get and how it should fit you. Each head is a little bit different, so each helmet's gonna need a slightly different adjustment. If you have any questions, ask the experts at your local bike shop. They're more than happy to help you out. Check out these videos where you can learn to improve your mountain biking skills. If you're new to mountain biking, you need to get your hands on my checklist that covers the gear you need for your trail ride. Look for the link to that checklist in the description below. If you learned something, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Tap the bell to get notifications of my next video. Until next week, I'll see you on the trails.